Can class D amps be high current? Well, Jason in Connecticut wants to know, and he says, hey, Paul, thanks for going to this effort for us, your Hi-Fi family. My pleasure. Family means everything to me. Can a class D amplifier ever be considered high current, considering they mostly, if not always, use a switch mode power supply? Is high current a real thing or just a marketing gimmick? I ask this because I'm a recent owner of your Stellar S300 stereo amplifier, which I've paired with a set of Magnaplan, <laughs> Magnapan LRS speakers. The combo sounds great, but I read, uh, dangerous, that this particular type of speaker, i.e. ribbons and panels, don't traditionally work well with Class D amplifiers because they require high current of the Class AB variety. Well, you are perfectly safe, my friend. It is always astounding to me how much stuff runs around <laughs> out there that uh, j just somehow gets um, into, into the mainstream and then becomes, you know, folklore or becomes uh, truth. Um, you know, and, and look, I'm not blaming you. Uh, it, it is so bewildering out there to try and figure out what the hell anything means. Because most of us don't have engineering degrees. We don't have engineering experience. We don't know. We haven't sat here and designed products for 45 years. So we, I mean, we just don't know. And we rely on those that we trust. So that's one of the reasons why I do these videos. Try and bring some semblance of sanity and common sense to all of this so that you can know from one person's opinion about how stuff works and why. So I think basically what, how this rumor must have gotten started or something is that planars and ribbons have traditionally been thought of as difficult to drive because of their impedance dips. And when you have impedance dips where it's going from say four ohms to two ohms or eight ohms to three ohms or what, you know, where you have these wild swings of impedance on the speaker, you need high current in order to not clip the amplifier or, or cut it off, right? And indeed, if you were to clip an amplifier, then you could cause damage to the connected speaker. That is a fact. So you can kind of see how all this gets going. Like somebody says, yeah, well, I've heard that if, uh, if you're underpowered, that you can damage a speaker. And it's true, a clip, a, an amplifier that clips can potentially damage a tweeter. And uh, in fact, it could even damage a woofer, depending on what happens, but it's pretty rare. But in any case, that's where that gets going. And some speakers are easy loads, so we don't concern ourselves. Some speakers are more difficult loads. Fortunately, magna planers happen to be a fairly steady load. They don't dip down too much. Now, they do need power, they want power, but they're not what I would consider a difficult load. That said, there are difficult loads. So your Stellar is fine, okay. Now to the broader question. Most Class D amplifiers, including Stellar, don't have as much energy reserve as a Class AB amplifier has. And this is because of the switch mode power supply. Not because switch mode power supplies can't deliver current. Oh my lordy, they can deliver current. I mean, some of the, my, my Tesla has a switch mode power supply. And that thing can deliver a quarter of a million watts. When I step on the gas and it powers you back, that sucker, I mean, that's some current. Let me tell you, that car, which is not light, goes from you know, zero to ludicrous speed. In, 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 you know. And that's all based on switch mode power supplies. They use what we call DC to DC converters and H bridges and all that. So there's nothing inherent about class D or switching amplifiers that suggests you can't deliver high current. In fact, quite the opposite. But 
In general, Class D amplifiers, because of their efficiency and their ability to meet spec, don't put a lot of extra capacitance energy storage into their power supplies, where less efficient Class AB amplifiers have bigger power supplies and more energy storage because they're not as efficient. So I think that's how all this gets going. You just have to look at the individual items and know who you're buying stuff from. If you buy it from us, you're going to be safe. I promise. Okay. Great question. Thank you. I will talk to you tomorrow.